What's up boys and girls, it is Ruthless here and today we're going to be going over teleportation and armor 3 and how to set it up. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to walk up to a prop, you're going to scroll wheel on it and select where you want to go and it's going to teleport you to that location. I'll actually be showing you how to set it up to teleport back to um, where you teleported from also. So we're going to go into editor choose any map um, if you already have a mission set up it'll work as well um, you're just gonna have to add it in an SQF file into it so we're going to start down here in the bottom of this place uh, is this no I don't want to use this airport I want to use this one right over here alright so we're gonna be using this airport in this town to uh, demonstrate how all of this um, works for you boys and, uh, and girls you know probably simple uh, little thing here so we're gonna come down into the, the town I'm not trying to make this too complicated on you guys I'm just a little lost inside of this town to be honest with you okay so we're gonna use this building right here so we're gonna set down our uh, our crew uh, our deck crew guy he's gonna be the one to activate the teleporter um, you don't have to change anything with your character it can be any player um, any playable person can activate it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to props you're going to choose any prop of your choice. I'm going to be using the info stand um, as it is just a nice, simple, accessible prop. Everyone knows what it is if you played like a, uh, a server. Everyone uses it just because it's it's nice and tall, it's, it's accessible, and it just works well. So inside of this, you're going to go in and type in tele. Uh, that's what your variable name is going to be. That's what's going to start the teleporter. And then in the initialization uh, part of this, you're going to type this. Then you're going to put add action. And then you're going to put uh, brackets, quotations, teleport to. So this basically right here is what it's going to say when you scroll wheel on it. It's going to ask you um, where you want to teleport to. And you just scroll wheel and it's going to say teleport to the airport is what we're going to throw in then comma then right here is where you just throw in your uh, your little little file name your .sqf file so now I'll go back over all of this so once you put in this whole thing here um, you got to have this add action you're able to change this part you can put whatever you want on that you cannot change your uh, .sqf file Unless you want to change it here and in the folder later, um, it just will probably be easier to follow along um, with me if you don't change it. And whatever you do, do not change your uh, your variable name or this whole thing is just not going to work. So once that's placed down, we're going to actually search up helipad. It's going to pull up an invisible helipad and that is great. We're going to choose the invisible helipad because we do not want this big old hunk of junk to teleport onto. We want an invisible helipad just because it is invisible. It'll make it nice and simple. So what you want to go ahead and call this is mine. So just put mine and then you never have to touch that again throughout this whole thing. We're going to go ahead and actually throw down the info stand again over here. So we're going to grab this info stand. We're going to click on it. We're going to control C on the info stand. So once you have the info stand selected, control C, that's going to copy it. You're going to paste it down. This is what's going to teleport you back into the town. So say if you accidentally teleport to wherever you're going and you're like, ah, ah, shit, I didn't mean to teleport. Uh, you can just walk up to it and uh, go in and click on it and teleport back to the town, back to the town. And uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and change this to tell you one RG teleport back dot SQF is what we're going to call that. And that is completely done. Now you're going to copy the helipad invisible again. Actually, you, you can just grab a, a new one if you want. Um, it's, it's your choice to copy it. And we're going to place it right here. And we're going to call this mine back. So that's what that's going to be called. So now it's completely done with in-game uh, stuff, so just make sure your stuff's all to what I have. If you need to pause the video or go back, do it now. I'll let you have time. 
All right, you had your time. Okay, so now we're going to go to scenario. We're going to save as, and we're going to call it teleport tutorial. Tutorial, it doesn't really matter. I always, you know, double think on the spelling, but I don't even care. Um, so once you save it, you're going to go scenario, open scenario folder. It's going to pull this up right here. What you're going to gonna, what you're gonna want to do? Uh, there's uh, proper English is a uh, new text document, and we're gonna put an RG teleport, and then you're gonna change it to a .sqf file, and then once that's done, um, you will be all set for this. You're also gonna wanna like if if you don't want to change it to the extension, you gotta go to view. File name extensions, make sure that's check marked and you'll be all good. But now that this is set up, we're going to start our, uh, our coding. And here it is. So now this is where you have to do a little bit of coding. It's not too much, it's just a little bit of um, statements here and there, and you'll be all, all good. So just follow along and everything will be all fine and dandy. I'll probably include this in the description for you guys to copy and paste into here, um, but however, it's just a lot easier to um, copy and paste it. So for me, I'm just gonna have to type it all out because you know, for the sake of you guys learning, you're not gonna get anything out of it if, I, if you just copy and paste it. So I mean, it'd be better if you went along with it. So um, go ahead and put that. We're going to put mine parentheses around that and then we're going to parentheses around this and then we're going to put a semicolon. So it's going to be underscore telly equals underscore this select zero semicolon underscore caller equals underscore this select one semicolon and then underscore caller set position get position mine and then semicolon again. And then under this, you're going to put hint, not bent, you're gonna put hint, space, your quotations, and then you're gonna put you have, this is also uh, changeable. If you wanna change this, you don't have to have a hint at all, you can just teleport. But the hint just basically says in the top right, you have teleported um, to the airport. So that's all that's gonna say, is it's gonna say hint, you have teleported to the airport. We're going to save this. So now that's completely done. We're going to head back in our file, copy, paste this again, and uh, well, did I mean to open that? We don't actually want to open that just yet because it's going to basically make us um, redo it. So rg teleport back sqf. That's what we're going to call it. We're gonna open it, and if you guys remember, we've cha changed it and we called it Telly One. So we're gonna put a one here, and then mine back. We're gonna put back. That's what we called it. And instead of uh, teleported to the airport, you have teleported back to the town, is what we're gonna say. So now that's completely done. Um, the hint is all good. Everything's all good, so we're gonna head right back in the game. So just make sure that says mine back. And on your stand over here, just make sure it says um, teleport back to the town. So now when we run this in game, it's gonna spawn us in right here. So we're gonna make sure it's all saved up. So play scenario. Once I click on the scenario, it's gonna throw me in game. All right, so now as soon as I go to this and scroll wheel, it's going to say teleport to the airport. If I click this, it'll send me straight to the airport, and as you see, the hint is up in the top right. And then now I'm here, and I'm like, oh god, I didn't want to come to the airport. No, I have to run back. <laughs> My terrible acting. Uh, you can come up, you can scroll wheel on it, and you can teleport right back to the town where you were just standing, and you are at the town. And you can just do this forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and you can just keep teleporting however you feel like it, whenever you feel like it, and uh, it's lots of fun. So anyways, now that we're back uh, in the town, that's all that I have to say for you guys. That's it. If you have any questions, add me on Discord, message me on Discord. The link's down in the description. Uh, just join that Discord and message me.
or type in the um, general chat and be like, at, uh, at Rootless, I need your help. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I will come assist you any way I, I can do so with that. So if that's uh, that's all I got for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. Um, also, leave leave comments down in the, the comments section if you have uh, any comments. But uh, yeah, peace out, boys. I'll see you guys on the uh, the next one.